Okay, welcome to the session on creating a, a treasure hunt using uh, Google Earth and we're using customer voice. So let's just get right in. We're going to double click on Google Earth and go in. And uh, so obviously you'll need Google Earth installed on your computer in order to do this. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to use uh, Brimfield. So I'm going to put in the postcode and we'll just pop that in. Close that down and in we go. Now, just a couple of things on this before you really start to go into this. A couple of things to do are to go up to tools, click on tools, click on options and check a few things. One is you want decimal degrees highlighted because if students are using their phones or um, Google Maps or whatever they're using and you want to use the latitude and longitude, that will sync them together. The other thing you need to do is to click on navigation and make sure that do not automatically tilt while zooming. Otherwise, you're going to get a skewed image. OK, so this one you get a full right over the top plan view. So once you've got that, you click OK, then you zoom in and then you can start to organize your trail. So you need to sort of think about what you want the students, what information you want the students to discover. As you can see here, we've, we've got a bit of a route going round and this one is actually a treasure hunt. OK, so we're starting off um, where you can start where you want to really with the students, but A, B, etc. So what we do to make uh, one of these icons, you just get this little drop pin tool. And what you do is once you've clicked on it, it will I'll just move this over to the right. You can drag it to where you want it. I'm going to put it over that copper beach there. Just imagine I'm doing a tree trail for a second. Uh, you can change the name. You may want to give it the name of the tree or you may not want you may just want it to be a letter or something. So I could put a or I could put copper beach or give it a code uh, or something to help me remember the, the place by. So I'll, I'll just put uh, COP for now. You can change the icon, uh, the, the little drop pin to anything you want. For example, in this case, uh, I might look across, I might want a tree. OK, once you've done that, you can close that bit down. So now we should have an icon like that. If you can click on it again, if you want to, but you'd rather than click on it here, you actually click on it in this little side panel. So there should be a cop in there somewhere. If I can find it. And if you right click on it, you can get properties. So if you click on that, it will open it back up again. So it's a right click over on this places and you can get the properties. Now you can add a local image. So if you've got a, an image on your computer, you can add it. You can add a web page. So say, for example, uh, if I wanted a copper beach, I could sort of go in, find a nice copper beach picture. And we can hit return on that. And then I can just go to images. And we'll just scroll down a little bit, click on, uh, that's quite a nice one there. Uh, I'll right click on it, copy image link, and we can then go back to Google Earth, add, uh, add a link, click it into there, click OK. Click. So you may or may not want to do that. Uh, you may want that blank. You might want them to upload their own images, of course. So that's how you put an image in. Now, what I've done here, I've put... So having set up your map, what you can do is to create a nice plan uh, of, uh, of the area with legend. And to do that, you want to do file and then save, save image. And it should come up with... So it should come up with a title here, and all you've got to do is to change the title. Just click on it, and we'll put safety map or whatever. So remember that you can right-click on an item over here to the left, 
click on properties and you then got access to the latitude and longitude if you want to make it a little bit more challenging for the students. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder, put all our information in that folder that we can send to our students. And if they've got Google Earth on their phone, uh, they can click on this link and you, they will see a map like the one we've got here. So in order to do that, what we need to do is to make a new folder. I've made one here, safety information, but all you've got to do it's basically right right click and uh, add a folder I'll, I'll, I'll do another one just to show you uh, safety first having got your uh, safety first um, there you can see I've got safety first I right clicked I made a folder called safety first you just drag these down into it so you can drag them and drop them in and it stays in that location I've already dragged in uh, uh, one thing in there and uh, some other information. And what you then do, having got all your information in one folder, they're all linked. You can right click on it and you click Save Place As and you've got your Safety First KMZ file. And this is what you're going to send to students if they want to do it on their phones, if they've got Google Earth on the phones. They could click on that and it would take them into uh, this particular map that you've created with all the way marks. Okay, so you click save and you've done that. So if I close this down for a second, I'm just going to discard that and we go into downloads where I've saved it. And we'll click on uh, safety first and that should open up Google Earth and take us to that map. Now you don't have to do it this way, of course you can print out the sheet, you can laminate the sheet or whatever you want to do, and then you know the students could walk around and use it that way. So that's another way of using uh, this particular one. Then the students having clicked on that icon, it loads up the map with all their information. So they could use their phones to do that. Alternatively, you print it out and you laminate it and you give them a copy of it. Um, so there's various ways of doing it. Now the students have got that on the phones. They can go to the areas. They can, if they want to, where the A is or where whatever uh, letter they want. So say, for example, this one, if you right click on it and pr properties, you can add in your links or a local image as evidence of what you've found. So that's all part of the treasure hunt. Uh, that's one way, but we're going to look at customer voice, how we can do it on customer voice so it comes up on your phone. Okay.